89% of management believes employees quit over money. The reality is it's only 12%. 79% of employees, when doing exit interviews when they quit, cite lack of appreciation. And this is from Jay Samet's most recent book. You know, we've I've mentioned maybe before, but if you're wondering, Jay Samet's a serial entrepreneur, wrote a couple of good books, Disrupt You. Me and Brett have both read Great that book. one. And Great I just book. finished his latest book, Future Proof You. And that's where that statistic was cited. And there's more details if you're interested in that book. But the section of the book that talks about employee appreciation and what that means to your business is mm -hmm. a pretty good chapter to read. And some good takeaways are you must appreciate your employees. It absolutely, every survey shows, yeah. all these statistics are pretty true. Um, you keep employees if they feel appreciated, if they feel fulfilled in their work. There's a million different mm -hmm. psychology studies you can find on it. And that's what we're here to just mention is this is, you really need to think about the appreciation you show your staff and it can go a long way. Appreciating people is, is important. We, I think as a human, we want to feel appreciated, right? Look what's happening. It's June, 2022. You have graduations going on for college, high school, they even do for eighth grade, kindergarten, third grade, yeah. whatever. They, people are appreciating people for their accomplishments. But in business, we tend not to do that. I know I know that, you know, there's there's so many things you can do other than money that people will actually pull in and say, that's why I stay. Right. And we do things like that. I mean, we have the amenities. We have some food. Mm -hmm. We have some hot sauce and things like that that we do yeah. for the employees. You know, buying them all food all the time is a big thing because it creates some camaraderie mm -hmm. in the office when people are in the office. Even the people that work remotely, though, you know if you just send them a pizza and smile or anything, but the bigger and more important aspect is I don't expect that people just do their job because they're paid. If they do their job, I say, thank you. I say, great job. We right. engage and react with it. People enjoy the interaction and the celebration of mm -hmm. their accomplishment. You know, when we ha finish a big project, we're all excited about that project being done. I don't just yep. say, get back to work. Like, you know, quit celebrating type thing. And Wait a minute, you don't say that? Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, I think it's an important yeah. aspect a lot of people don't think about. And especially small businesses, a lot of the reasons people even want to work for a small business is the appreciation shown often because you have interaction with the business owner. You don't have as many layers in the different levels of management where especially top down decisions are made with no connection to the people at the bottom side, so to speak, the basic employees. And those people frequently have very large companies. That's one of the reasons they are happy to leave those companies. If they can't see a progress up or they only see commands from the top coming down with no engagement, no appreciation for it, right. they, there's no commitment they have to staying at that particular right. company. It's, it's, a, it's about the appreciation and that's what it's, a, that's what it's really about. Um, is is making sure that you are appreciating the 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 employees and and taking care of them. I mean, because it's really systemic, right? We we either take care of them or we don't. Which one's right. going to get you better rewards? And it was a lot of my goals in starting a business. One of them was, you know, people ask come with my planning, and I'm like, it's really simple. I want to make a business that doesn't suck, and I want to make a workplace that doesn't suck. It right. sounds really oversimplified, but it kind of is important in a big way to, you know, why I do the things I do, why I keep the people around that I do and make sure they're mm -hmm. a good fit uh, culturally for us and that there are people that engage back and forth and appreciate each other because you also have to keep that going. So you encourage it from me, the owner, Brett as management, but on down to employees thanking each other for, hey, thanks for helping out yeah. on that project and things like that. You kind of keep it all the way around. It goes such a long way in terms of retention, in terms mm -hmm. of people being more committed to get things done. I mean, don't get me wrong. Still got to pay them well. That isn't an exception. Uh, that's still an important aspect. People do have bills to pay. So this is not one of those talks where money doesn't matter. Just work at a place you love. You'll never work a day <laughs> yeah. in your life. That's a bunch yeah, of BS. Exactly. You do have to make payroll. You do have to pay people well. But even more important than pay is going to be that appreciation. Right. Exactly. And, so, and, and yeah, I, that, that's it. You it, can't say any more than that. Can't say any more than that. It's really that simple. Think of ways yeah. you can do it. Think of employee engagement programs that keep showing that appreciation and thank you. Thank you goes a long way. Yes, that too. <laughs>